Hello, beautiful, amazing, fantastic world, and you, beautiful, wonderful individual you. Today, I would like to speak about by utilizing and using our imagination to work upon the sense perceptible. That means we actively, well, find the true living forces and beings behind the sense perceptible we work upon the physical. We literally, spiritually change and shape and work upon it by spiritualizing it. This is what we human beings do by, well, having, having certain perspectives and insights into what reality is and what the spiritual forces behind physical reality, karma, having the right proper attitude to karma and suffering and struggles, but also at the same time hold a certain amount of dignity. And especially when we are at our weakest, that is when we, that is when it is healing and appropriate, uh, appropriate to really go inwards and observe and reflect and having the right proper well, as I said, attitude to karma and to the pains and hardships inwardly, well, also outwardly, but they kind of hang together as long as we are down here in this earth development. But I digress. It is all about when we see a plant, we see the imaginary, imagina uh, the imaginative forces that builds up the plant. When you really think about it, the plants, uh, the plant kingdom is kind of the most amazing artists that you can uh, that you can perceive okay don't get me wrong here both minerals animals and human beings also are a wonderful piece of uh, a wonderful piece of work but it is all about finding what is specifically human in contradistinction to the rest of the mineral plant and animal kingdom because we are different and it's about finding what is different what allows us to stand upright what allows us to have the sense of self sense of balance and be cognitively conscious about it having that in our consciousness allowing us to put it take it up and observe it in freedom that is what we are have as that is what we have as a difference you see, animals, they are purely hereditary. That means whatever species they are born into and whatever instincts that species, that species have, have, they are playing within that role. We human beings, we have the same as animals to a certain degree. We need to eat, we need to sleep, we need the proper, uh, the proper intake to survive. But... We have freedom in morality, morality, we have inner mobility, we have inner active consciousness. And we can get to understand what we are, who we are and where we're going, where we came from and, and so on. And that is where the curiosity and wonder comes in because you just can't help it. You, despite whatever answers you might get, you are still more curious and more enthusiastic about finding out who you are, who I am, who he is, who her, who she is, than staying ignorant. Because obviously no one would get anywhere, anywhere by, nope, there is nothing there. I don't believe it. You get my drift there? This is all about having an open heart, knowing that Behind the sense perceptible, behind our reality, there is a wise guidance to all of this. And that there are certain reasons why there are such differentiations and a variety and plethora of different and variables down here on earth is because of karma. It is because we have a lot of karma to struggle and strive with every one of us. But... When you really think about, let's say today, I'm not going to use any specific place as an example, but 
Imagine a country refusing to develop, refusing to follow along and be part of the global, part of the earthly, everything. They will over time fall behind. Those that partook in falling behind will in the next incarnation be incarnated into a less developed country because they refuse to develop and hence they are lagging a little behind. Doesn't need to be that much. All it, it, and you will over a lifetime or part of the lifetime clear that karma. And hence it might it might just so happen and occur a huge change, a huge shift in your life that allows you to do something completely different than what you started out with, you know? But it is all about having that openness, that curiosity. That is that is where you will find the drive. That is where you will find the awe-inspiring curiosity you need to find out what a human being is. And through thinking, feeling, and willing, and ennobling these faculties, and purifying our physical, etheric, astral body, we become more and more spiritual in nature. Less and less dense, less and less dragged around, uh, dragging ourselves around with the body. You actually become more free, mobile within, and are able to hold yourself pretty stable and and strong and what's it called tranquil serene within to the of course we are not infallible so it requires practice and lifetimes of dedication of doing this and the more we have the proper attitude to karma to what we have gone through and through what we are going to go through we instead we can allow ourselves to be dragged and be taken by frustration fear, anger, but you can also have the proper attitude to the karma and, and thinking, just as an example, if you got a slap in your face, I like using this example, by having the right proper attitude and forces to meet it, we say to ourselves, or at least I say to myself that I slapped myself it was I that allowed for these forces to be created so that I ended up slapping myself through another person. That is what karma is. And we choose to come down to make amends because, well, we, would, we want the earth to slowly but surely be built up spiritually because the physical will fall away in the end. All physical matter that cannot spiritualize, that cannot be spiritualized because it's too dense, too impure, too heavy. It will fall away in its own sphere in a sense because it cannot partake in the spiritualization, in the, in the development, you see. So they, these beings are backwards beings. These are what I mentioned earlier. If we refuse to develop, if we only walk life by in a passive in a passive half asleep state we end up not you don't necessarily end up falling behind but you will not be able to partake in the uh, the forces that are impulses today in a real alive way until later you you see for there are front runners. There are people that find out about these things and share with the world. Over time, over long periods of time, the whole world will follow over time because what is worked, uh, worked upon, what is ex explored and found out, will become something that the rest of humanity will follow by. Just like mathematics. Mathematics was at first something that was enormously scary for many, but over time it became standard. It became something, it's the same with writing, it's this, yeah, anything that every human being has as a cap capacity to learn, you see. And it is all about how much spiritual force do you have with what you introduce and how much truth is it in it so that it can actually be concretely and real followed in reality. It is not just something abstract. It is not something that just 
satisfy our longing for curiosity for a tiny fraction of a second and then it disappears and then you have to go seek another thing. No, it really is working upon and finding out in true concrete reality. Once you do, there is really nothing, there, there is really few things that can affect your health in a serious way because you have a certain inner silence steadiness to you and that silence allows for health promoting forces healing forces developing forces and i will leave you with this today may father holy spirit christ Micah, ancient masters of all ancestors from every incarnation higher hierarchy god had seraphim cherubim thrones kiriadites dynamis exusia archai archangels and angels bless protect guide and love you on your amazing, beautiful, wonderful path to development, compassion, warmth and love and truth and higher knowledge. Love you. See you. Thank you. Goodbye.